To be able to run the washer with the door open to check the spin, you will need to bypass the lid switch. If your washer has a lid switch like these, all you need is a screwdriver to activate the lid switch. The reason I'm showing you how to bypass it is that you'll learn how to do it. Let me show you how to bypass the lid switch so you can run the washer with the door open for checking the spin and for checking the agitation. Bypassing the lid switch will only be done for testing purposes only. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. To open the controls panel, you will need to remove these four screws on top of the controls panel. After removing the screws, flip the controls panel forward like this. You will need to make a jumper wire like this. Take a piece of wire, strip the two ends, apply solder to the ends, and take a file and shape the ends like this. Find where the lid switch is connected to the wire harness and disconnect it like this. We're going to connect the jumper wire to this side of the wire harness. Stick the jumper wire on these two terminals. Like this. Then apply electrical tape around it to insulate the connection. Close the controls panel and screw in by hand two screws just to hold it in place. They don't have to be tight. Connect the washer to the wall outlet. Set the timer on the beginning of a cycle and turn it on. Open the door and let the washer fill to a selected level. When the washer starts agitating, close the door, set the timer on the spin cycle and turn it on, and open the door on the washer. The washer is supposed to start draining the water out. After the washer has drained enough water, it will start spinning. Keep an eye on it. If the washer starts agitating and spinning at the same time, you need to check the transmission spring. Run the washer until you can get all the water out, then you're going to check the transmission spring. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet and remove the front panel. Lean the washer against the wall like this. Make sure that it's secure and it's not going to fall on you, okay? Unscrew the two pump holding screws. You will need to remove all these screws to open the bottom panel. Take a piece of rope and put it around the belt between the motor pulley and the transmission pulley. You're going to try like to choke the belt so the belt cannot go around the motor pulley and hold it with pressure. Then use a three quarter inch wrench to remove the nut from the transmission pulley. Loosen up the rope and remove the transmission pulley and the belt. As you can see, the spring is broken and it will need to be replaced. Remove the broken spring. As you can see, the spring is broken in two. That's why the machine agitates and spins at the same time. This is the way that the spring should look like. When the transmission pulley is turned clockwise, this piece will turn it will tighten the spring and the spring will turn the piece on the top, release the brake and the transmission will spin. 
to do the repair all you have to do is insert a new spring or a spring that is good in wiggle it and turn it and push it until it's all the way in Install the transmission pulley and the holding nut. Turn the pulley until it falls in place, then screw in the nut. Place the belt on the motor pulley, then on the right side of the transmission pulley and turn it with the pulley until it falls in place. Use the rope again to hold the belt in place so you could tighten the nut on the transmission pulley. Put some pressure on the rope and use a three quarter inch wrench to tighten the nut on the transmission pulley. Make sure it's nice and tight. I am not using gloves but you probably should. Just be careful the wrench don't let go and you strip or hurt your knuckles. See how simple it is to do that repair? The only problem is that you can't get the spring. You need to buy the whole transmission. Close the bottom panel and screw in all the holding screws. Screw in the two pump holding screws and stand the washer up. Install the front panel and you're done replacing the transmission spring. Now for the bad news. You cannot buy the spring. You need to buy the whole transmission. So what I would do if I was you, I'd go on Craigslist and try to see if I could pick up a cheap broken washer and remove the spring and use it on yours.